we're going to do it a little bit differently than you maybe think about. We have a new product we're introducing this year, and that's the, the 9RX. And uh, we're pretty proud to offer our John Deere customers the option of a four-wheel drive tractor or two-track tractor or a four-track tractor now. So we're going to talk about some of the buying considerations, some of the pros and cons of each machine form and why one customer may view that as a benefit or, or a limitation to the machine form. So we're going to just talk about it. My name is Kevin Jewell, come from Waterloo, Iowa, the Tractor Factory, and we got Brian. Brian Thorpe, uh, territory manager over in uh, Indiana. So we go through this, uh, we're going to ask for some customer participation, and this, we have to have a good participation, but no one gets a hat. So one all, one gets it all, gets it, right? So we got to have that going up through this. So first and foremost, what are some of the uh, buying considerations you think people think about when they go out for tractors? So what do you think about when you go for tractors? Love. What's that? Love. Love? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. How well is it going to look? Yeah. Anything else? Performance, yeah. Yep. You buy this machine because you want big performance out of it. About price. Anybody worry about price? Cost. Price, yep. number one. <laughs> price comes into a factor for everyone at some point, right? Yep. Not just price, maybe resale value too. How well is how well is it gonna hold its value? Um, what about some of these on the screen here? Compaction, wet soils, you know, these are some of the biggest machines that are gonna cross the field throughout that year, so how well does that do on keeping that soil profile intact, minimizing compaction by doing so? Um, comfort, ride quality, cost of operation. You know, the list goes on and on, and there's even more that are considered, but these are some of the major ones that we hear often when we do customer research when we're doing our product development side of things. So Brian's gonna talk over the advantages of the machine forms, and what I mean by that is we have four-wheel drive, we have a two-track, and we have a four-track machine. So when he says wheels, we're, we're assuming the, the four-wheel drive machine, two tracks right out in front of you here, and the 9RX, of course, the new machine form for John Deere, four tracks. So Brian? Okay, so we'll jump right in. Ride quality is, is uh, one, I don't know if anybody said it or not, but one that was on our list was ride quality. Each one of these three tractors has its own unique ride quality system we have on it. They're, they're independent of each other, so here gives you an idea on what each one of these models we have to offer for ride quality. For the uh, wheel tractors out here, our, uh, our traditional four-wheel drive tractor, we have an active seat, active seat, pitch, sit, uh, active seat system, and that's been around for quite a few years, worked really well for us. When you get to our two uh, track tractor, you see in the middle back here, we go to an air cushion suspension system. We came out with it a couple years ago, uh, and customers got a lot of great feedback on, on that new suspension system, not only on the 9R, but on the 8R models as well. And then on the new 9RX track, track tractor, we've got a, the uh, calf suspension system on the Kevin's going to talk a little bit more in detail about what that calf suspension actually consists of. But just know that every one of these tractors has a some sort of uh, ride quality improvement made on it with its own unique from the other three models. So with that, let's talk about advantages of a 9R wheel tractor. So when you see just 9R up there, it's, we're talking about just the wheel model. What do you think some advantages might be of a wheel model tractor over the two track models we have behind us? Cost, okay. Cost is less on a uh, wheel model than what it would be on the two track tractor or the four track tractor. Also comes with cost is resale value. Um, the over the life of that machine, that's what we see customer feedback right now with the resale value of those machines. I actually expect it to be higher on a wheel track tractor because it's still three quarters of the market out there is, is with wheel tractors versus the, the track market. Anything else on a wheel tractor? Cost of maintenance. Cost of maintenance, right. Because on, on this tractor, you basically have wheels that are engaged on the ground. Well, on the track systems, you do have maintenance items on those. And you have one more wear and tear that comes with the track system, whether it's the four track or the two track system. Anything else? Stability. Stability, okay. Especially on side hill performance, we'll typically see the four track, Kevin's going to talk about that, actually do best in side hill stability, but the wheel tractor actually does very well in that as well. The two track is probably the one that performs the, the least, uh, least uh, valuable in a side hill application. How about transport? We have anybody around here worried about transport? We have getting up and down the road. Okay. We're going to talk about disadvantages. That, that's one thing in a wheel tractor, we actually get a little bit wider. Uh, but for stability standpoint, we are wider. We have a bigger, bigger footprint with that tractor. Anything else? 
You think I missed one? What other crab do you think of? Uh, it's the most flexible one. Flexible, right. And about ballast conditions? Sometimes I want to use that tractor in the spring, have lighter weight on it. Sometimes in the fall, I want to have a little more heavier weight package on that. With that Minard tractor, we can come out from the factory with about 37,000 pounds on our smallest model. And somewhere between 37 and 40, 45, I believe, thousand pounds on a base tractor on a four wheel drive. And we can add all the way up to 60,000 60, pounds of, of ballast on the biggest model. So it's a huge range in, uh, in weight packages we put on that tractor, depending on if you got to run it in spring or in the fall. So it has the most versatility as far as weight, weight to the ground, weight packages we put on those tractors. Anything else in line, Art? Tire flexibility, so row crop applications, if you grow row crops, it's the only machine form you can get up and down. Post emergence is in the 9R wheel tractor. Those tracks are too wide, those tracks are too wide. You're going to knock stuff down. Yep, that's that. that covers. 9RT advantage? 9RT. Oh, excuse me. Nope. Oh, yeah, we forgot, our, forgot about our fun video. Fun video, yeah. So, uh, maybe you heard it last year, but we introduced the hydro cushion front axle on those, on those wheel tractors as well. So, we talked about right ball a little bit. This does somewhat help the ride quality. This is more about getting power to the ground though. So is everybody familiar with what power hop is? You get a real heavy load behind that tractor. Uh, all of a sudden that front axle starts hopping going through the field and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Nothing's going to change. It's not going to go away until you make something change on what's going on with that tractor. So what you see in this video is, is a video we made last year when we introduced this to our dealers uh, demonstrating the, the hydro cushion front axle which is actually on this, this platform out here. Uh, you see to the, to the left side of the tent. Uh, what that does is, is hydraulically apply more power to the front axle of that tractor to apply it to the ground and get re reduction of that power hop to almost no power hop whatsoever. And what you're going to see in this video is one of our John Deere articulated dump trucks. It's actually hooked up to the back of this 9R tractor with the hydro cushion front axle. And you're going to see the tractor start to pull that truck and actually has a retarder on the transmission to actually put a load on the back back of the tractor. And when you see the beacon lights come on on the tractors when he's actually engaged that hydro cushion front axle to get rid of the power hop. So watch for the, the lights start flashing on the tractor right now. He's starting off without hydro cushion. Yep. Start to see that front end. Start to hop a little bit. You see it gradually get worse. A little bit worse. A lot worse. Now you see the beacon lights come on. Within about four seconds, that hydraulic pressure goes to that those, uh, those three cylinders on that front axle, pushes that front front end to the ground, applies more power to those front wheels to help get rid of that power pop. So that's a really exciting, uh, exclusive feature we brought out last year that we had a lot of great customer feedback on on the wheel tractors. I want to make sure everybody's aware of. Um, it really improves the performance of those. Yeah, I, we got one more view of this hydro push. So if you ever sat behind the, the wheel with a tractor, or if you have not sat behind, you don't know what power hop looks like from an operator's point of view. Oh, excuse me. That's <laughs> technology, right? One second, please. I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Ma'am, sorry. So when you engage the hydro cushion axle, does it burn more diesel or fuel for the operator versus when you don't engage? No. Like no, and it'll 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 keep that power to the ground more efficient. So in fact, in fact, you burn more efficiently fuel, more efficient fuel burn. So watch this guy in the seat. You'll see him uh, reach down and engage the hydro cushion as he's going there. So it gets pretty violent in there. Wow. And you can see it takes about that four seconds, like Brian said. Those hydraulic accumulators get charged up and feed those cylinders. Once he does that, it's quite an amazing story there. Also, like Brian said, it is exclusive to John Deere, so. Uh, this is this is game changing in the four wheel drive marketplace. It's the first company to suspend a front axle on a four four wheel drive tractor. So this is very big for for John Deere. And like Brian said, it's been out for a year, and the feedback has been tremendous, um, tremendous in terms of productivity, ride quality, power hub maintenance has all all gone away for our customers that went with the hydro cushion suspension. So again, if you want to talk more about that later, let's do that out on the lot. Okay, nine RT. Uh, 